All right, we're up here <clears throat> at camp. And it's just me and my daughter. Uh, we came up for the weekend, see if we can't get a bear, maybe a cougar. Um, we are camping at um, up in Capitol Forest. Um, it's called Fall Creek. Um, so we're going to get up in the morning and um, pretty much just walk from camp. So <clears throat> that is the plan. We got a fire going. I checked to see if we were able to, and it says we can in designated camp areas with uh, metal pits. So, and there's metal pits up here at these campsites up here. So, we're good to go there. We're making uh, s'mores at the moment. Um, so, stay tuned. See if we get a bear. Talk to you later. forced again for the weekend me and my daughter trying to get some predators um, hopefully we can see a bear we are camped in a different spot this time this is actually called fall creek and we're just gonna walk from camp and there's a lot of walking trails around here. None of the ATV trails like at the last spot. These are all just uh, horses, horse and hiking trails. So there is a lot of berries around here. I like it. Looks like the huckleberries are actually starting to welt up. We have some huckleberries near our camp right here. So maybe we might see a bear this time. Pretty cool. All right, stay tuned. We'll bring you some action. Get off the side. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right, so we're back here walking these trails. Um, only good thing is, is that they're not quad trails, but we have run into couple hikers a couple bikers um, so I haven't seen any bear sign yet but I don't mean they're not here they might not be uh, walk these trails too much we need to find some a food source definitely um, You're getting to get up to a spot where there's a clear cut. And I've heard bears out in the tree patches that are up in the clear cut before. Out there breaking logs and shit. But this is us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. But that's 
gonna happen no matter what. Uh, she's carrying the 22, just in case we see a grouse, maybe even a cougar. I'm pretty sure I don't wanna shoot a cougar with my 300 Magnum. But a 22 should do the job. If I get a decent shot on it. Oh, there's some shit right there. Oh no, those are pine cones. Pine cones. Alright, I'm gonna get to being quiet again. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll turn it on when we see some animals. This is that guy I was talking about. Oh, there's a tree stand. Dope. horse stalls here we were gonna camp right there last night but I figured get one a little closer to the bathrooms but this is Fall Creek Campground we got some neighbors here they got a tent I want they got one of those hot tents you can bring your horses up here too and corral them. Little camp area, tent spot. That's cool, they got a little trail that goes to the other one. So if you have company or people camping together, and this is all free as long as you have uh, your Discover Pass. So there's the bathroom. This is our camp area. Got horse corrals over there. Picnic tables, fire pit. And that's it. All right, we are back at camp. Cooking up some bacon. We're going to have some bacon and egg sandwiches. So, but went out this morning. Didn't see nothing. Seen a bunch of deer tracks. Um, that was it. So, sun's starting to break through. It was starting to get hot. Oh, we were getting hungry. So, decided to come back, make some breakfast, make a game plan for. Uh, what we're gonna do for this evening. Um, it's probably about 10.30 right now, so still in the morning. But maybe some of this bacon will draw on some bears, huh? <laughs> but, all right, we'll talk to y'all later. Peace. All right. So I've been shooting my gun, but I'm gonna bore sight it again real quick. So I just wanna show you guys what I'm doing. Got my 300 mag on my backpack right here. And there's some fence posts over on that side over there, about 30 yards out, I would say. Roughly, I don't got a thing, so. But what I'm doing is I took my bolt out and I am looking down the barrel and finding that fence post, a certain spot on that fence post. And then looking down my barrel, or looking down my scope. At that fence post. I'm 
to try and uh, make sure it's on the money. So that's just a quick, easy way to get on paper if you uh, want to super dial it in. So some people shoot for the first time and don't even bore sight it and they don't even hit paper. So that's one fast, easy way to get on paper is to bore sight your gun first and make sure your bore is lined up with your crosshairs. And then that way you're not having to shoot through a bunch of bullets just to get on paper and then try to dial it in from there. Get on paper right on there on your first shot. So then dial it in. So. the trail. It's about three or three o'clock. <clears throat> Took off from camp down a different trail along this creek. Seven point five miles. No electric bikes. in a circle. It just goes in a circle. I think. Let's move this tab. It looks like it might break off somewhere in here. Off of here and then it goes back down. And then it goes way over this way. Huh. So let's do the circle then around this mountainside here goes around the backside and then comes back we'll come back right back here losing time i'm fading fast i just want to make it last try to let go of the past i close my eyes embrace the blast sleepless nights and headaches stack restlessness to hell and back what's my purpose what do i grab a slippery surface a heart attack and sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief there's something that'll have what you need what you need we're broken it's tragic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could have it and i know of sadness the anxious and panic the infinite vastness of all that is blackness are your best friend in this stuff because even though you might not see anything you put your binoculars up and all of a sudden they're looking at you dead in your eye it's crazy there's a bee's nest in this tree right here hopefully there's no bees See if you can't hear 
we spooked something. We haven't seen nothing on this hike. Look at this. This is beautiful. Definitely up here. I think our camp right over that way. But looks like we got a long ways to go. So good thing it's not getting dark for another couple hours. Oh, we got all this clear cut up here. Let's see if we can't spot something. All right. So. This was supposed to go in a circle like we showed on the map down there. It don't. It just keeps on going and going and going. And it's in the wrong direction from where we want to be. So we got to turn back around and hike back. Hannah says that there was actually a little trail that went off to the right. I'm, I could have missed it. I don't know. But we are headed back now. Um, I started tracking myself with the Onyx to see exactly how far we have come so but we'll hunt on the way back hopefully we see something um we are in the clear cut right now i just started feeling weird because we started heading away so i was like yeah i better check it so thank god for onyx right all right we'll talk to you later so we just got back we tracked it as uh from the top of that or the middle of that clear cut to back to camp is a little over two miles, so uh, it took us about an hour, ten minutes to get back, and uh, so we went what almost maybe four and a half miles. So because it didn't start tracking it, you got actually got to keep the Onyx on to track. So at least that's what I've, my experience here. So I checked it and we had already gone probably, it said 400 yards and it didn't track the trail part of it. It just kind of tracked from the last pot spot that I um, hit track and then where I turned it back on. So it was a straight line instead of walking the trail with us. So yeah, I'd say about four and a half miles. So, But didn't see nothing, didn't see no deer, seen a lot of birds, um, seen, I don't even think we've seen any tracks. Some couple deer tracks, I think, but no bears. Heard one gunshot. It sounded like it came back from that clear cut that we were at. So I don't know. Maybe someone got something. Maybe they got a, a grouse or something. So, but because I know there was a road on top of that that clear cut. But anyways, we uh, might go take a little. Uh, car ride here but i'm gonna get some dinner going too so eat some food go for a car ride see if we can't see something jump on the road or something do a little road hunting so i'm tired so anyways talk to y'all later peace
You gotta grab. Hold it. Huh? Why is it warm? <laughs> because it just was alive. <laughs> cool. All right, let's go. Seen three deer so far and a grouse. So, heck yeah. <laughs> we'll clean it up when we get back to camp. <laughs> you got it. Remember, you can use the brake. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep your eyes on the road, really. Watch out for this rock over here. Okay, just go right straight down the middle. Okay, we are all packed up. Um, we ended up not going out this morning. But camp is all packed. Um, we just got up, made breakfast, slept in a little bit, um, ate some food, and now we're probably gonna ease out of here, maybe look at a few clear cuts, um, and get home. She's got school tomorrow and stuff, so, and uh, we're gonna get ready for the week, so, all right. That is it. No bears. Seen some deer. Got a grouse. So, talk to you later. Peace. All right. Here's another tip. If you're looking over clear cut area. You have kind of some bottoms down here. A bunch of brush. Blacktail, anyways. They like to just they'll hide. They'll just crouch right down in there. So you just take a rock like this. Chuck it down in there. Wow. Just get anything to jump up. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes there's nothing down there. But I've gotten a lot of lot of deer to jump up doing that. Another tip. <laughs>